Hello everyone, Guardian E here with a weekly update and daily pull video at the tail end of the Ashen Simulacrum rerun in Azure Lane. So maintenance is incoming on the 8th of April and there are a few announcements worth talking about briefly. It's otherwise a fairly low-key update. So first up, they've announced a 3 times core data campaign starting on the 9th of April until the 18th. You probably should be doing hard mode runs anyway every day, those three-time clears, but uh, this just further incentivizes it, gives a nice bonus for the core data shop during this window of time. Uh, we also have a first look at the new auto capture mode in Operation Siren, which is scheduled to come out this month. For those of you out there who don't enjoy the micromanaging and map tapping aspect of the game mode, as well as uh, TB speech patterns, this could remedy some of your qualms. Looks like it is a kind of set it and forget it type system, so provided that your ships are strong enough to auto the designated stage, uh, it should make the daily coordinate hunts a lot more low effort, so if you've been reluctant to try out the game mode because of that, uh, maybe give it a try once this drops. They are continuing to add adjustments to the mode based on feedback, so uh, don't be shy about dropping them a line, dropping them a hint either on the Discord or uh, email lines. They've announced both a Bunker Hill skin, Mission Relaxation, and a skin for Astoria, Black Bunny Carnival. Little controversial here, I do lament the fact that Astoria is getting a bunny suit over North Carolina. She has been waiting for one for what seems like forever, more or less. Uh, naturally, she has voice lines referencing a bunny suit. It's been featured in the Slow Ahead manga and the anime now at this point. Uh, it's possible maybe the artist was just busy. I, I don't know, but it, by now, Yostar and Manju have to know that we want a bunny suit for North Carolina. I have to think it's just a matter of time. Maybe it's also possible that this is the first of many bunny suits that they're going to just trickle in. I mean, I sure hope so. We need more bunnies, uh, I, I think, in Azure Lane. So, North Carolina's omittance aside, that is a bit of a shame. Uh, it's hard to deny Astoria looks marvelous in this outfit. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Astoria is a free SP clear reward from the Moonlit Overture event. She is not available in construction. Now, they did announce that Moonlit Overture would drop into the War Archives on the Japanese server. I'm not sure about the English version, and I'm not sure if we would get them synced up like that, but um, essentially this is the mini event where you would get Astoria, Vincennes, and Quincy for free. So the skin itself features classic black tie color palette, one floppy ear, this almost corset design of the costume buttoned up, kind of cinching at the thin waist to emphasize both her hips and rather top-heavy design. Top-heavy design indeed. Now, she may not compete necessarily with Quincy, one of her sister ships, but at the same time, she certainly does hold her own. She's pressing and squeezing a little bit outside of the top on the sides. I really like the matching arm and leg stockings. Serves as a beautiful contrast to her fair skin. She's got some wicked boots, too. Uh, high laces, red accents. I feel like that's become more of a theme lately. Uh, with that Baltimore skin that we got, that had some, some killer boots as well. But yeah, she's rocking some great boots. Uh, also incoming, of course, is Bunker Hill skin, Mission Relaxation. I just adore how fun and casual she is here. I borderline slovenly, and I love it. Uh, her hair is tied up, you know, she's munching on some potato chips, playing a console game. Uh, she's wearing this form-fitting camisole that's, that's pretty flattering, to be honest. You know, one of the straps is just sliding off of her shoulders, but she's way too engrossed in the game to care. Yeah, she might be wearing some, some biker shorts, it looks like. Not entirely sure there. But either way, just kind of a super soft and comfy looking uh, outfit that she has on. I love the fact that her owl has a sleep mask on. That is a wonderful touch. I think that's awesome. And there's just so much personality in this skin. She's got some instant noodles uh, sitting off to the side there. She's got some cookies and chips, some other snacks. Uh, if you look at the shelves, she's, it looks like she's got an Azure Lane uh, Figma. And, and a figure down there, some visual novels, some books, maybe some games, there's a model plane up top. So yeah, as much as I appreciate the ship girls getting all dolled up and glamorous in a lot of their skins, these are always a really nice touch too. The more casual elements gets like an inside look into the daily slice of life of the of the ship girls. So it's great. I love these. Um, just to note, Bunker Hill, for those of you who don't know, is only available as a drop from Story Chapter 13.4. So get ready to grind if you do want her and you don't have her yet. And we did just get confirmation that Ink Stained Steel Sakura will be dropping into the War Archives. 
They actually just announced it. I had to stop what I was doing and re-record some lines and edit this video uh, in order to include this news. But yeah, after the update, we are going to be able to uh, go into the War Archives to access that event. And that should mean that we're getting a limited time rate up for the event ships of the event. The big ones being Nagato and Kawakaze. So if you're missing any of those ships, I wish you the best of luck. Hope you have some cubes saved up. There is going to be an update slash restock at the Yostar store, I believe today, with Azure Lane merch. As you can see here, they are restocking the Akagi and Kaga Daki, as well as the five faction pins, the 3D badges featuring Sirius and Taiho, as well as the Azuma 3D mouse pad there. Highly recommended. And as far as new arrivals are concerned, you can see that they are adding a Grimmy plushie, which is very adorable, a waterproof sticker set, there is going to be an Essex Russian doll set, and you can see that each of the little dolls each has a different expression on their face, which is very, very cute. There is going to be a door hanger that features Belfast, as well as a wall scroll poster that is yet to be revealed. That might be revealed today, actually. I have to go and check. And then the Holiday Fridge Magnet Set featuring the starters. So all of these have a variety of different prices, but I'm glad to see that they're adding more merch to the Yostar store. I am certainly hungry for Azure Lane merch. I guess I'll just mention as an aside, since we are talking about Azure Lane merch, there has been just this flood of absolutely gorgeous PVC figures that have been announced that I am super, super excited for. I'm not going to get into those unless people are actually interested in hearing about PVC figures at all, but, but there are a number that I am pre-ordering on day one. As for the next event, not really sure, could be anything, but I will note that the monthly login character is Oite, so thematically, perhaps we could see an IJN Sakura Empire themed event, or maybe a rerun on that basis. That's just pure speculation on my part, it doesn't really mean anything necessarily, but let me know in the comments below what event you're most looking forward to, or what rerun you're most looking forward to. So with that, let's jump into my daily and weekly light constructions. Now, since we managed to sweep on day one, I've just been doing light constructions in the hopes of getting Lopiniatre because I am missing that elite. I think that's the only, basically the only ship that I'm missing. So we're going to go ahead and finish all here and hope that we get her. We don't really need dupes. Oh, I got plenty of dupes um, within the Ashen Simulacrum day one polls. So didn't really feel like spending any more. We are going to get an elite here. So it's going to be Mogami. Don't need her, but all the same, good to see an elite. Makes me feel hopeful that we could get the elite that we're looking for today. And so far, so far that was the only... Oh, okay, spoke too soon. Denver, another elite. Can we make it three? Make it the hat trick? No. Nope, nope. We made it a, <laughs> we made it a hat trick, just a hat trick of McCall's, unfortunately. Alright, so we need, I think it's three more for uh, to round out the week. So let's go ahead and do that. And again, fingers crossed. Spence. Ooh, are we going to get another McCall? Oh, hey, you know what? Gloucester, I don't actually have... Uh, oh, I have our max limit broken, but I don't have an extra copy just sitting in the back. So, you know what? I'll take it. It's, it's, it's fine. It's a ship that we don't see that often that was recently added into the pool. And the hunt for Lopiniatre continues. Alright, well we've got five more daily light constructions to round things out for the end of the Ashen Simulacrum rerun. Uh, again, they're just light constructions, so let's go ahead and finish all and see if we can't get that Lopin. I hope the event is going great for all of you. Let me know in the comments below how, uh, how everything went, how your grind went, if you got all of the ships that you were looking for. <laughs> hey, Sandy. Oh, boy. That's, uh... Hey, you know what? We got an SR. We got Sandy, number one. Can't complain about that, right? <laughs> but yeah, let me know how your grind went. Let me know how your pulls went. And if you, uh... How your dailies went, essentially. If you did do dailies on the, uh... The event banner. I hope you ended up getting your Sumners, your Alabamas, your Baltimores, and everything else under the sun that you were looking for. But ultimately, I think that's going to wrap up this video. Uh, we The highlight of our daily pulls was a Sandy. I think that about says it all. So let me know in the comments below how you did on the Ashen Simulacrum rerun as a whole, and again, what you're most looking forward to incoming as far as updates, as well as unannounced stuff, uh, what new event you would like to see. 
Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to leave us a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more Azure Lane content. We thank you all so much for watching and for taking time out of your day to spend with us. We really do appreciate it. Certainly hoping you are all staying safe, healthy, secure, and united out there, and wishing the very, very best for you, your family, and your friends. And until next time, let's protect those waters.